It's September, it's September, it's September, no more daycare. Yup, I'm an idiot. Hey guys, it's Wendy Valencia and yes, it is September, the month that our life changes forever. Woohoo! Awesome things are happening in the Valencia household this month. Not as awesome as I had originally planned, but definitely better and in the right direction. So today we're going over that September budget in detail so you can see where every single cent is going and you can judge my spending habits <laughs> accordingly. If you are new to my channel, make sure you click that big red subscribe button down below and then go click that bell notification icon so you will be alerted every single time I upload because we're talking money on this channel and money's good. It's really good. And if you have it, it's even better. And I don't really have it yet, but that's okay, I will someday. <laughs> so let's go ahead and jump on into that September budget. So in our first category, we have the utilities budget and that is our cell phone. And thank you guys so much for all your cell phone recommendations. Unfortunately, all the plans you guys recommended do not work for us for one reason or another. And I was totally bummed because I was totally looking forward to cutting that cell phone bill down, but we're still stuck at 186.60 and we still have the storage unit for 270 and if you have not seen my storage unit video that came out last week and um i will put an eye in the sky for that video i went through the whole thing explaining why mathematically it is actually smart for us to pay that storage unit we aren't one of those people that has a storage unit in addition to our residence. Our entire residence is in the storage unit. So that is why we keep it. And if you have any questions about that, I address them all in that video. So I'll put that up in the eye in the sky for you. Then next we have our transportation. I have the $60 for car wash service. I don't know if it's gonna show up this month or not. I'm hoping it's finally officially turned off but I can't promise it is. So we did really well with the gas for last month. And so we're keeping that at $100. We did have some leftover because Mauricio and I are now commuting to work together in his hybrid and we can make it almost all the way to and from the office on one battery charge. I wish my office had a battery charger at the office. We'd totally plug in during the day, but they don't. I'm hoping federal law will mandate that all federal buildings have electric charging stations for electric vehicles in the future. But until that legislation happens, we are stuck where we are. So we do use a little bit of gas every month, but not very much. It's mostly when we are traveling outside our home to work. I don't think I will ever go back to a pure gas vehicle. So we had an oil change last month and we paid the easy pass last month. So we will not have either one of those charges this month. In Melina's category, I have the life touch photos in there. I did confirm with my bank that it is six months. This will be month six. I could not reach anyone that had any clue at life touch what was going on. So I gave up and you know, if they charge me, fine, if they don't. So September will be the last month that they can cash that check. Also in the Molina category, we have before and after care. While still expensive at $590 a month, it is so significantly less than what we were paying in um, preschool expenses. We are down saving about $1,000 a month right there. So 590 for before and after care. And that is one of those things that we don't necessarily need to use while we are in the house right now. Before and after care is so incredibly competitive that I have been told by numerous people that once you have it, you need to keep it and never let it go. If you don't need it one year, if you sign off and don't pay it, you will not get back in. 
So we have decided that for now we will drop Melina off early and my parents will pick her up about a half an hour after school. And so she won't really have to use a lot of the aftercare, but she'll use quite a bit of the before care. And so it'll all even out. She's gonna have a really long day, but really Melina's a pretty tough kid and she doesn't get tired. She's been, we've had her in before care for the last month at her summer camp to get her used to it and she did great. So I think it'll work out well. Um, we also have a birthday deposit. Melina's birthday, her sixth birthday is coming up in October and we have $500 in there for a deposit on a rental place. And that is going to be significantly more than what I expect we will have to pay. But I, you, as you all know, I would much rather have too much in there than not enough. And because it's at the very beginning of October, just in case I have to pay in full ahead of time, then I'll be able to do that. Um, we've been going back and forth about two different locations and where they're gonna be. And like I said, again, $500 is significantly more expensive than we intend to, to spend, but maybe I'll be able to buy some of her birthday gifts in there with that money after we secured the location. One thing that I realized as I was writing this up, we went to Melina's meet the teacher today and we are going to need to put some money in her lunches accounts. So I'm going to have to put a small amount of money in her lunch account just for those days that maybe she forgets her lunches or whatever because for right now unless something significantly changes i i anticipate i will be making her lunches i like to make her lunchables they're not real lunchables because i refuse to pay for a lunchable but i will make something that looks a lot like lunchables and it's actually cuter because like i cut the meat and the cheese out in like hearts and stars and and it's totally adorable because i'm just awesome like that no, I totally stole that from Pinterest. I don't know where I saw it, but um, I, I don't know how much the minimum deposit is, but we are definitely going to be opening that up this month. So I will, there will be a couple of little shifty things in our budget. In, in our stores category, we have the same $150 in Amazon and the same $40 in the dry cleaners. Nothing else planned for right now. In insurance and tax, we have our USAA insurance for $159.73, and that covers our rental policy at the storage unit and our car insurance. Then we have the insurance that I love to hate, the CMFG insurance, which I really do have words for. There's an F in it. You can figure it out. Well, maybe you can't, but I'm not going to tell you because I don't want to get demonetized. It's $12, I know, but it was a dumb insurance. It's one of those insurances run by the bank that if both Mauricio and I, something happens to us, that that debt gets completely paid off. But first of all, we both have life insurance. And second of all, we're not going to die at the same time. Not going to happen. I refuse. Then we have $91.65 for my life insurance because I have not been able to get that lowered down. I am in negotiations though. We'll see, fingers crossed. And Mauricio's life insurance is 3583 as it always is. And next month we do have our uh, personal property tax for our vehicles, but not this month. In our giving category, in September, Mauricio will be turning. He told me I was not allowed to say on YouTube how old he was gonna be, but I'm 45 and he's 12 years younger than I am, so you do the math. <laughs> gotcha. I didn't say how old you are, Mauricio. Mauricio, I'm setting aside $50 for me to give him a gift and $50 for Melina to give him a gift. It is my father's birthday and my mother's birthday as well, so we set $50 for each one of them as well. And then the first week in September, mom, I haven't told you this and I know you watch, but we, Mauricio and I are taking you guys to Founding Farmers for brunch on us to say thank you for everything you have done to help us with Melina. 
So that is $250 and yes, it's expensive. Founding Farmers is a very nice restaurant and it's wonderful and we love it and we have never had the opportunity to take my parents there. So we thought that would be an excellent way to say thank you for all of the work that they have done helping us with Molina and preschool and everything. So in our miscellaneous category, we had $30 for our iTunes. Those are our Netflix and Apple Music and the other one I always forget what it is. It's something important that Mauricio has. I don't know. I have $44.95 for Weight Watchers, which will be definitely earned this month because I'm doing the diet bet. We have $200 for Blow Money, $25 for Mauricio's haircut. We have another $25 for Skype and then the $20 for Diet Bet. And I'm hoping I get that money back. I know I will. So now the moment you all have been waiting for, how much are we going to be putting towards debt? This month we are putting $5,863.96 to debt. That is so significantly less than what I thought it was gonna be. Um, I'm actually really disappointed, but you are about to find out why. Well, I mentioned previously we got a $500 birthday deposit for Melina, so that took $500 away from debt, but it's her birthday, and that is one of those things that Dave would probably yell at me about, but I'm not sacrificing. I'm just not. Sorry, Dave. We have the typical $100 in our cushion category. We did not use it all last month. And in my YouTube category, we have $450 for TubeBuddy, $4.99 for PicMonkey, $5 for Backblaze, and $9.99 for Umi Downloader. And here is the reason we, the other part of the reason that we are paying much less than I thought we would to debt is we have $1,250 allocated for dental expenses this month. We have started the massive dental fix and so hopefully we won't need all of that money, but I wanted to make sure we had enough in our budget that we could pay all of the bills. Mauricio and I pretty much have dental appointments every week through the month of September. And I think Mauricio even still has one after that in October. And then he has a couple of other like surgical things that he's gonna have to have done. We're going for uh, second opinions on those. And so if he has to have those done, there'll be some more, but the surgical thing should be covered by my medical insurance, fingers crossed. Um, so if you want to figure out what we would have paid to debt, if we had not had Melina's birthday and had not had that giant dental bill, so possibly um, in October, we would be paying $7,600 $13.96 to debt. Unfortunately, that $17.50 is going to knock that payment way down. But the bonus is we're not going into debt. So we are doing well. And I'm very happy with the fact that we are putting so much towards debt this month because legitimately $5,863 is a lot of money to go towards debt this month. So and then we have our sinking funds with $150 for the medical sinking fund, $100 for our car repair replace fund, $100 for our Christmas sinking fund, $50 for the emergency trip to Columbia, $25 for miscellaneous expenses for Molina for school, $100 for summer camp for next year, $100 for work travel expenses, and $100 for our 10th anniversary, which I may not be using. We may end up stockpiling that money and decide to just put it on debt. I don't know. We'll see, but I'm saving it for now. I do not have any work trips planned for this month as of yet, so I shouldn't need any work travel expenses. I did take $400 from over from my reimbursement to August and transferred that over. So we're about halfway to that $1,000 point 
for the work travel expenses sinking fund and once that's at a thousand dollars i will actually stop contributing to that because basically what will happen is when i travel i'll take the emergency i'll take my emergency fund card with me and I will transfer that money to my checking account for Capital One 360, use that card as my expenses while I'm there. And then I will transfer whatever's left over. And then when I get reimbursed, that money will just go in there. So I shouldn't have to, that'll be a hundred extra dollars that I won't have to pay in a few months. So that is the September budget in a nutshell. Make sure you click on the big laughing face to subscribe to my channel. And I will put up two videos so you can keep on watching. This video is my most recent video. And this video, this one right here, is one YouTube picked out just for you. Meaning you should watch it because it's awesome. I'll see you in the next one. See ya!